Welcome to the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast, your number one source for making money in the medical ancillary sector. Mike and Viv bring you the latest information from lab services, pharmacy, diagnostic testing, and so much more. The latest in ancillary services will be right around the corner. Welcoming the hosts of the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast, here's Mike and Viv. Welcome to the Medical Ancillary Sales Podcast. Today I am joined by a special international guest. You may not recognize her voice because she's got a severe cold, but uh, joined as always by Viv Hudson. Viv calling, calling us from, uh, from the other side of the world in Perth, Australia. Viv, how, is, how, how are you and how is Perth? Oh, I'm great, and my cold is, is not that bad. I, um, I, I don't really ever get really sick so um i just have a little bit of a blocked nose so it probably sounds like i'm even more australian <laughs> well and i'm sure um, viv you're you're missing out on all the thanksgiving festivities here that's got to be the one holiday you miss out on in the united states that maybe the fourth of july but with the with with Thanksgiving, you know what that means. It means that um, as soon as we come out of this holiday, and as this post as this posts on the Monday after Thanksgiving, New Year's is staring you right in the face, and we're running into limited holiday schedules and everything else. It, it does make it tough when you're uh, when you're a sales rep, especially in the medical field. Yes, and uh, offices are often filled with patients who are using up their medical insurance before they have to start using their deductibles again at the start of the year. So it's a bit of a crazy time all around, but there's still room for sales reps to go in and pitch to doctors because there's still a lot of opportunity about this time of the year. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? Yeah, I would agree. And of course, the the big issue is we have a lot of changes happening in healthcare. We have uh, a new ad, um, administration coming in, which is is promising to uh, dismantle at least parts of the Affordable Care Act. We still don't know exactly what that's going to mean. We also hear about uh, a significant rise in premiums coming next year. I've heard anywhere from twenty to fifty percent in some with some plans in some states. And so there is a lot of uncertainty out there, but I think now more than ever is a time for doctors maybe to, to look at some of the programs that are tried, true, and tested, and that dovetails perfectly with it being the end of the year. I know you and I have spoken about equipment sales before, but there are a lot of reasons for doctors to purchase equipment during the, the December season right here. Is there, is there any piece in particular that that you would be pushing out there, Viv, as uh, as a rep, come the end of the year, something that you could squeeze in under the under the deadline. Well, definitely the uh, the fall prevention equipment would be one, and the other one is the A and S. So doctors can certainly buy those devices, and you know, better to to be talking to them about it now, because from what I understand, they actually have to have the equipment delivered and and be able to utilize it in office to be able to claim that deduction for the year. So most doctors aren't going to say yes to an equipment sale the first day you show up and talk about it. <laughs> Stranger yeah. things have happened, but you Unless know they're in the market. It, it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so so make sure if you can go in there, talk to them about it, demonstrate the value and how quick their return on investment can be. And you can certainly have a sale within two or three weeks. Well, I think that's actually um, typical if, for equipment sales. While you don't make a close the first time, typically they're not three-month closes either. We, we tend to see shorter sales cycles with that. And, and you had mentioned VAT for me is probably, if I was looking for something to put presents under the tree, the fastest way to get there is the VAT. <laughs> And that's because we can close on those pretty quickly. You earn great commission off of them. Now, granted, it's just a one-time sale, 
but you do earn nice commission off of it. And in, in a time of uncertainty, the VAT has been around since uh, the early 90s, I think. And that code has never wavered uh, from the Medicare fee schedule. So all of these changes that are happening, none of these, uh, Medicare is not something that I talk about with, with major changes except for a slight pay decrease coming for, um, for doctors across the board. But you're talking about a, a fraction of a percent. And um, with the VAT, if they're looking for something that they can count on, the VAT has been there. It's a, a steady reimbursement that the doctor can count on. And if they have a decent Medicare population, depending on the size of their practice, I would say even a small practice, if they're 30, 35% Medicare, even a small practice running this three or four times a week, which is a ex- beyond conservative number. Most doctors will run this three or four times a day. But even running this three or four times a week, they're still actually making money on the device and it is a good investment. Yes, definitely. And um, if you as a sales rep get that sale before Christmas, then you're not going to have to whip out your Christmas, uh, So you, sorry, your credit card at all because you'll have plenty of cash in the bank to get all those Christmas gifts purchased. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that's and the, best the, bit. the cool thing about selling equipment is once the doctor pulls a trigger on it, if you guys have never sold equipment before, the great thing is it's not one of these things where we're waiting two, three months for claims to adjudicate and then they got to pay the vendor, doctor has to pay the vendor, then the vendor has to pay us. And then you get your commission check. And before you know it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the summer of 2019 before you see that commission. Sometimes these programs are just, just drag on and on. But with equipment sales, if a doctor pulls the trigger today, by the time that equipment gets installed, it's usually less than a week. And that check is delivered the same day that, or, or the day after that equipment is installed. So it's usually about a one week turnaround time on actually getting your commission payment. So Definitely a good thing to be talking to doctors about. So, Viv, let me change gears on you just for a second, uh, just uh, for the second half of our, our podcast here. Because I think the other thing that people really can get flustered around the holidays with is how to actually, um, how to get people motivated or, uh, and more specifically, actually, how to, um, how to actually get into these offices and know when to see them because of their holiday schedules. What, what is your holiday schedule? I mean, when you're, you're an outside rep, do you, do you take time off? Do you, are you pushing this time of year? Uh, I mean, this particular Thanksgiving week uh, tends to be a little bit crazy. So if you're going to have a week off, this week is probably not a bad week to have off. Uh, usually if they're open Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, they're squishing patients in. Um, the first day or two back after Thanksgiving, uh, I would use it for getting myself organized for the rest of the week, but definitely after Monday, uh, next week that there, there would be some opportunity to get in to see your physicians. Now, if you have, uh, are familiar with your physician's offices, you'll kind of know, what are better times to go in and see them, whether they like you coming in around lunchtime, whether they like you there before they open or, you know, they like you to show up after around 10 or 10.30 after they've kind of had their morning rush. Um, but the other the other thing is uh, that week between Christmas and New Year, if a doctor's open, they often do have time up their sleeve because – uh, a lot of people go on holiday, so they're not going to doctor's offices. And surprisingly, it can be a good time to get in to see your doctors um, is that particular week. So you're I, thinking I'm everybody is. <laughs> I'm in 100% agreement. And the thing is, is a lot of doctors do take off that time of year, but the majority don't. And they take vacation time different times of year. They Sometimes they schedule it around continuing education conferences or, or other things like that. And I found the, it's, not a, it's not the majority of offices that are closed. Majority of them are open and why they may be running at a smaller staff. I also found that the number of sales reps that take off is, is not in proportion to the, the percentage of doctors that take off. So I have had tremendous success. And I remember last year at this time, we had a couple reps. A lot of reps took off, told me, Mike, I'll say, they, I heard from them on Christmas Eve and they said, I'll see you on the 2nd. And that's fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's, that's totally understandable. It's, it's some time to spend with family. But if you can squeeze out even, even just a, um, a few afternoons 
to go make some sales calls. The reps who did go out there were telling me about the access that they had to physicians and office managers. And plus the fact that they're not as busy during that week. They have a lot of people that miss appointments, a lot of other people spending time with family. They're just not quite as busy. The, the access tended to be a lot better, I thought. And, and also you get people who are uh, 2018, can, or what are we at? 2016, right? <laughs> so 27, <Yep. laughs> I think I know that. Uh, so yep. 2017 <laughs> is, is not going to be a far off thought. 2017 is going to be right in their face. And so it's time to start doing some planning for 2017. Let's talk about things like, like uh, your allergy program or something like that. Things that they could implement in 2017. This is a good time to game plan and let's, let's get some strategies and, and some game plans out there and let's see how we might be able to help you reach your goals. Yeah, yeah. And this time of year is also a good time of year to start talking about the allergy services again because, you know, by the time you make a few calls about it uh, and doctors go through their thought processes, make a decision and decide to implement the actual solution, it, you know, it can take as long as eight to ten weeks. So by the time they get to springtime, uh, that's uh, they're going to be set. So if you're kind of wondering what you should be selling at this time of the year, Allergy is also another good program uh, that um, that that can make you rewards. <clears throat> I am losing my voice now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of allergies, okay. yeah, um, that that can make you some rewards as we head into the uh, the beginning of next year. Absolutely. Okay. Well, my, my parting shot is just, just remember this. A lot of sales reps out there are going to take some time off here. They're, they'll, they'll work for, for two, three weeks maybe in December and then take the rest of the time off. Um, that's the beauty of being an independent sales rep and it's certainly your prerogative. But if you're an animal and you got some goals and you want to hit some big goals in 2017 and get yourself set up nicely, you're going you're gonna to find yourself as as one of the few people who is actually out there pushing during those especially the last week of the year and i think you're going to be surprised at the success you have and and how that's going to set you ahead of the competition absolutely absolutely all right thanks viv get get thanks mike (laughs) i will